My name is Brian McDaniel, and unlike most everyone else running in this room, the job of Superior Court Judge is a little bit different than some of these jobs with the uh, school system, county commission, even state senate. All of those are very important jobs. They serve your community. They certainly impact your pocketbook, where your money goes, how your community is run, and the things they have to do. A lot of those jobs are also a lot more transparent um, in the sense the newspaper covers very often what happens in county commission meetings, board, um, school board directors meetings. Judge of Superior Court is a little bit different. As Jason told you, the job covers five different counties. We're in one circuit, Southern Judicial Circuit. It's a full-time job you're elected to. You will serve for four years. Most of what the Superior Court judge does on a daily basis, you will never hear about. It is the city in court and granting of divorces, uh, hearing felony criminal trials, dealing with issues or lawsuits involving land, personal injury lawsuits. That's not real sexy. The newspaper, and the Oscar Times, Moultrie Observer, Thomasville Times, you just won't have a lot of articles on it. But you're electing somebody not just because you know them, not just because of um, one of the other candidates, and I think it was Richard, said because they're sexy, it's a, a beauty competition. And this is a job that you want to make sure that you've elected someone who is going to be doing the job on a daily basis to the best of their ability, even when we know that you will not know everything that goes on behind the scenes and goes on even in an open courtroom that anybody can walk into at any given time during a trial or a hearing. I live in Moultrie, Georgia with my wife, Margaret. She's from Thomasville. We have a seven-year-old son. I currently work at the district attorney's office. I'm the senior assistant district attorney out of Moultrie. Uh, we have, just like Jason's office does, we have offices in Valdosta, Thomasville, and Moultrie. I have been practicing since 1995. My current position at the DA's office has me as one of the senior trial attorneys in the area. I am one of the few that I think can say that I have had uh, gone off to the school for death penalty cases. I have had to work on one, unfortunately and spend a good portion of a 10-year cycle trying to decide and convince some other individuals that a man needed to die for what he had done. I'm also one of the people who has, in Cockwood County, worked on the accountability court. Judge Frank Porkin, who is retiring, and that's the position that both uh, Jason, Renita, and I are all running for, uh, was the instigator for that program. It was mentioned a little earlier about accountability courts. Locally, it's just called the drug court. We work to give people a second chance in that program every day just as well. It is designed to succeed, not to fail. It's an 18-month program at its best if you can graduate and come out. Right now, we have not reached that point with anybody. We've not quite had a full 18 months, and no one has graduated successfully. But as a prosecutor, we've looked at our job both ways. We're not just there to prosecute people and send them to jail. That also impacts your budget. Your jail budget is one of the most expensive things a county has, and it's one of the most expensive things in the uh, state of Georgia's budget. Jail is fine for somebody who can never, ever, ever walk free amongst society again. But the harsh reality is most people are, most people will. If they're sent to prison even for 20 years, they're going to get out. We need to make sure things like the accountability court, the judges can impact, that people have an opportunity to have a second chance and to succeed not just get out and have a second chance. It is an extremely important position. I can tell you about all the things that I have done, court work, trials, things of that nature. You're still not going to believe me. You'll still think I may be lying to you because I'm running for office. But every one of you knows a police officer or a state patrolman, somebody in the legal profession, somebody in the court system. There are three of us running and you know all of us very little. I would highly, highly encourage you to speak to other people that you know that are involved in the system, whether it's here in Lowndes County or any of the other four counties that Jason mentioned. You're going to have to pick one of the three of us to serve. We're the very last, last item, I think, on the ballot. A lot of people will give up before they even get there because they're coming for just one or two races. The job is important just because you don't see it every day. You need to know what you're doing. You need to know who you're voting for. Jason, Bernita, or I, I believe, can all serve honorably and intelligently, but you will be the one making that choice which one of us does it. Ask around before you vote. You came here to learn a little something, do a little extra homework when you leave tonight. But no matter what you do, 
go vote either starting Monday or on May the 20th. Thank y'all.